In this video, I want to cover a few miscellaneous items left over here in WooCommerce. The first is this integration tab over here. Now you can put in Google Analytics here to help track how people are moving through your shopping cart and the checkout process and so on. Share this, of course, a very popular social sharing button that you can put on your site if you've got a publisher ID for that. And then an interesting one here called Share Your Cart. This is one that's for sharing on Facebook and so on. I've actually gone to their sandbox here and you can play with it. I've entered the URL for one of our products here. and You can actually experiment with putting one of their buttons on your site. And basically, when you click on this button, it allows you to send things to Twitter. Now, this isn't fully working properly because it's not picking up my product description. Anyway, you'd have to fiddle around with it and get it to work. But you share these on your various social media outlets and people get discounts and you get discounts and everybody gets discounts from it. So anyway, that's an interesting idea. So that's something you can do under integration there. Then one of the things that isn't immediately obvious sometimes is the widgets that come with WooCommerce. Just like JigoShop, you have to go to your widget area under appearance here and you'll find all these different widgets. This is out of the box. We haven't added anything to WooCommerce at all. One of my favorites, of course, I have to show this because I always think it's so cool. This is a price filter. Let's just drag it up here and we'll put it in the sidebar. Let's save that. And when we refresh over here now on our sidebar, we've got this cool filter and we say, only show me items that are within a certain price range. And then you hit your filter, and what are we going to get there? It eliminates some items for us. Now there aren't quite as many items. You can change it. Anyway, it's kind of cool little widget that you can put in there. All kinds of things like best sellers right now. What's on sale? I always find that's an important one. You can, of course, put the cart in the sidebar. A lot of people like to have some version of the cart in there. Hide if cart is empty. Sure, let's do that. And let's go back over to here. And I think my cart actually might be empty, so let's add something to it. There we go. Now it even shows you the little picture and so forth. Doesn't quite fit in our theme here so much, so you'd have to fix that up in the style sheet. And we'll talk more about that with theming in another video. Now I can go to my full cart and view it right there. I go to my cart page. Anyway, lots of options for widgets on the sidebars. Okay, so that extends the sort of value and power of it, especially things like featured items and what's on sale and so on. And then the other thing I want to take a look at is extensions. If I go back over to here, one of the things I like in WooCommerce is they always have this link here. It says more functionality and gateway options via official extensions. All right, let's go see the official extensions. And there's lots of them. Now, here's where we move from free to paid. So this is a very common model, as we saw with JigoShop, and WP e-commerce, all of these. They have a very similar business model. Namely, we'll give away the basic shopping cart for free. Then you pay for add-ons. And like with JigoShop, you're probably going to need some of these add-ons. It's pretty hard not to need some of them, like the shipping ones, for example. You can filter by type. It says there's 160 or so right now, so that's pretty cool. There's a lot of available extensions here, a lot of third-party ones. Filter by price. Hey, there you go. All right, so you can add on new payment gateways. You can add on shipping. There's a Purolator one. There's all sorts of things, smart coupons, a different way to do coupons. All these kinds of things can be added on for price. Sometimes there are free ones. Let's go over to the next one here. There's lots and lots. Kissmetrics, this is quite cool. This is an addition to Google Analytics, some extra statistics you can get about what's going on. And I'm just trying to see, there's probably some free ones in here, I'm sure. There's usually one or two. And then if we go to third party, I just want to see exactly what they do for third parties here. And they warn you, they say these are third parties and, you know, they don't have quite the same guarantee that you're going to get from WooCommerce built ones. There's some free ones here. There we go. 
lots of ways to add functionality to WooCommerce. But again, be warned, you're probably going to want perhaps an extra theme. And I'll talk more about this in the evaluation. A theme that goes with WooCommerce. You're going to want some gateways, some shipping. There may be some tax modules that you need in here. So be prepared to spend some extra money on extensions.